the accidental discovery that proved the Big Bang. They thought their antenna had a malfunction. Instead, they'd just proven the Big Bang. Meet Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, working at Bell Labs in New Jersey in the 1960s. They were using a massive horn-shaped antenna originally built for early satellite communication. But now they were repurposing it for radio astronomy to study radiation from space. There was just one problem. In their measurements, they kept detecting this annoying noise they couldn't get rid of. No matter where they pointed the antenna, day or night, in any direction, the noise stayed the same. Being meticulous scientists, they ruled out every possible source of interference. They even scared off pigeons nesting inside the antenna and cleaned out all their droppings, to no effect. Meanwhile, just 60 kilometers away at Princeton University, a group led by Robert Dickey was working on a different problem. They were trying to find proof that the Big Bang had really happened. At the time, the Big Bang theory, no, not that one, was just one theory among others. Dickey's team was calculating what should remain from the gigantic blast of radiation set off at the beginning of time. Their prediction? That ancient radiation should still be detectable across the universe. All they needed was a massive radio telescope to go and look for it. When Penzias and Wilson heard what Dickey's team was up to, they invited them over. Together they looked at their strange noise and realized it was exactly what the Princeton group had been hoping to find. It wasn't noise at all. It was the signal we now know as cosmic microwave background, the physical evidence of an expanding universe and its origin, the Big Bang. Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson later received the Nobel Prize in physics for their accidental breakthrough. Not bad for something they first blamed on pigeon poop, 